donkeys. Do it for the donkeys. That's a new t-shirt. Do it for the donkeys. Do it for the donkeys. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hey y'all, how are you? As you can tell, the sun is not beaming down on me right now. It's actually quite nice. Uh, we've gotten a really nice cool down this morning. I think the high today is only like 87, which is amazing. I could live in those temps forever. Um, but yeah, uh, so today's really not gonna be about the donkeys. Um, I want to give you guys an update on the alpacas, the donkey poodles, and um, you know we've we've been having some issues with them, not being able to figure out what's going on. Um, we've we've kind of got some ideas of what's wrong, but we're not exactly sure. They just really, uh, Lucy especially, hasn't really gotten any better, and we feel like she's kind of deteriorating a little bit and. Our vet has been on vacation, and so it's just been like one thing after another. So, um, we were able to uh, talk to her and get some things going, uh, which I'll update you on in just a minute. I was going to wait and talk more about the alpacas once I got to the barn, but the donkeys tend to be distracting, so I decided to go ahead and talk here. Uh, our vet said that... So, let me back up. A fan had sent in saying that uh, they lived in another country. I'm not sure where, but they had uh, came across videos of their alpacas having, uh, I think it's pronounced meningeal worms. And so, we researched that, and the alpacas look like uh, they had several of those symptoms. We talked to our vet. Um, she said she really doesn't think that's what it is, but... We're going to treat them really heavily for worms. Um, you have to give different wormer for different worms. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to heavily treat them for worms, which now listen, we always worm on a consistent basis. But sometimes, um, you know, they just can take over. I mean, it's no different than with, with your dogs or whatever. So anyway, we're going to, she wants us to heavily medicate them with multiple different wormers and hopefully that works she said we'll give them a few days probably in, into early next week and um if that doesn't help we may end up having to take them to a vet at oklahoma state so we'll see hopefully we don't have to do that but if that's what it takes that's what we'll do because we want our alpacas healthy girls what are you doing hmm Baby. Oh, Bella. Leave them alone. She punking on y'all. It's not very nice. It's not very nice. Okay, so now we are at Tractor Supply. And this is the Sodectin she told us to get. And the Dex... Dectomax. No, yeah, Dectomax. Yeah. Let's so. see. It's not, it's not Dex. Not Dex. It's not Dex. Dexamethasone um, is different. Yeah, we're not giving Dex, but hopefully uh, once we start dosing them up with this stuff, fingers crossed, they uh, get better. We've warmed them multiple times. Yeah. Times, but I don't know. If if Jerry was over... Zealous? Overdoing his uh, job. Overzealous breeding. And stressed them out and kind of wore them down a little bit and brought their immune system down yes they could they could be having some different parasite issues so our vets recommended two different high potency wormers so we'll see it's not made specifically for alpacas it's for cattle and stuff but no but we did um our vet did get with another vet though that um deals with the alpacas a lot and they sent a sheet uh with breakdowns of the um dosage dosage yes for specifically for alpacas okay. so we're not just winging it on <laughs> cattle versus alpacas no no we're not just winging it or guessing we actually have a, a a spreadsheet thing so now you know what i'm gonna do your best i am gonna do my best but i'm gonna get some uh some treats for my donkeys because oh, <laughs> i'm Donkey running low <laughs> Whatever should I buy? 
<laughs> have I told you this is my favorite store? <laughs> yes, Can I'm aware. Something? No, yeah, that's what you get right no, there. No, no. Yeah. I'm like a kid in the, in the toilet. I know. I hate bringing you in here. Can I get something, Mom? No, you stress me out. Okay, now I've got to get the treats. You know, at There's the so many options. There are. There are just so it's like many. Bags, the Amazon of horse treats. Bags and bags and. Most of those are feet. Oh, I guess that is feed. feed. That's These are treats. Okay, I was going to say. You were right. There's some treats. Yeah, Everybody there are treats, some. But okay. Yeah. This is probably enough for Phoebe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to give her that many. These these little bags. Just don't cut it for your dog. No, no. That's like now they do eight. love these. They do oh, love they these. Do, yeah. uh, but they just don't go very far when you've got 72 donkeys. <laughs> I mean, there's a solution. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's see. I'm just not sure about that. I don't look very delicious. I'm not sure about that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're only going to get like one a week of yeah. those. That's a little pricey. I don't think we'll do that. Let's come down here and get some normal treats. Okay, here's the difference. Look, look. You got some horse treats right here. These are just treats. And these are fancy German horse muffins. <laughs> they're not treats, they're muffins. You're a dork. It's like a horse scone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go <laughs> somewhere else. Leave me alone with my donkey treats. Oh gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna get a bag of peppermint ones because, really? She made a decision. Oh my gosh. Every day I make decisions, babe. And I think I'm gonna try the baked molasses flavor this time because I have not tried those. They love all these other ones. Oh my gosh. I can't take you anywhere. A cool like a... You're done. See you. Okay, so we're going to get them some uh, little alfalfa treats, I think. No, they're not treats. They're alfalfa cubes. Cubes. But since we don't have any grass, we're not going to feed them a ton of alfalfa. But you could give them these as treats. Just a few here and there. Mm -hmm. I like the big pressed square. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. And a whole bag is 20 bucks versus, well, That's... your little bag. Yeah. So, do it for the donkeys. Do it for the donkeys. That's a new t shirt. Do it for the donkeys. Do it for the donkeys. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um. Medication is expensive. Yes. Dang. Okay, so so we are back from Tractor Supply. We got all the medication, and uh, we're fixing to dose them up. Okay, so this is the Dectomax. Dectomax. What we're giving Lucy. Looks like it's thick as corn syrup. Sure this is whenever you're done that'd be great this is the sidectin it's the pour on uh for cattle but we're giving it orally to the per the alpacas per the alpacas per the vet's instruction i don't think the alpacas are going to instruct us to do this <laughs> My guess is, is this probably does not taste good at no, all. No, they're not going to enjoy any of this. Girls, I knew we wouldn't be able to do anything in this pen with y'all. It is wobbly. <laughs> Poor old Lucy. Here, hold that. I'm going to give her a shot first. Daniel's also given her a vitamin shot that our vet recommended last time she was here. Ooh. Phoebe is not sure what's going on. <laughs> good girl, Lucy. That's a good girl. Oh, she's been rolling, hasn't she? <laughs> she's always filthy. <laughs> so it's sub Q, which means under the skin, but not in the muscle. So pull up a flap of skin. And that stuff is thick. Excuse you. <laughs> Trying to work here. Filing. All right, the fun part. Yep, getting it in her mouth. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, you don't want to squirt it in? Oh, jeez. Here, I can do it. Okay, let's fix it on the side. You might not want to stand right there, though. Oh, you that's wanna... true. Get to the side? Get to the side. Oh, well, look at that. You know that tastes terrible. Oh, yeah. I'm still going to stand back. Oh. Because oh. she might spit. Go get you a drink, sister. That's what <laughs> our kids do. Alan, really? Goodness gracious, sister. All right, got to take care of the other packets. I need you to get your butt off me. Good morning, Steve. I bought new treats. I just haven't brought them down here yet. That's what you came for, huh? Hmm? I need my medicine. Here you go. All right, Tina, be still, please. Be still. Good girl. Good girl, Tina. Salt me. Oh, you put it in your pocket. All right. So, it's not grape juice. <laughs> no. It's not going to taste good. I'm sorry. I'm sure, it's awful. Oh, there yeah. you go. Good girl. Good girl, Tina. That wasn't so bad, was it? As long as she don't turn and spit, we're good. <laughs> Dolly likes uh, laying in the mud, if you can't tell. <laughs> A little wet, sister. Waiting on Daniel to get the meds. Hi, Dolly. Oh, my goodness. Quick spit on <laughs> Oh, don't move. Be still. Oh, I can hear it grumbling in there. <laughs> Working up a good loogie for you, yeah. babe. Yeah, oh, gross. I don't want to be on that end of it. But I didn't get that on video, but it was horrible sounding. Oh. You know, when somebody's like, Hawking up a big loop. Yeah, that's what she's doing. They done. have that sound. It just sounds a little bit different, and you can see it. You can see the the nastiness coming up their throat. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, she's fixing to spit on me. Open wide. <laughs> she said, no, thank you. <clears throat> Jerry's turn. He, I want to say, he is not showing any symptoms, but we might as well go ahead and treat him so that they're all treated at the same time. <laughs> And also, Daniel is not putting any pressure on his back. <laughs> no, I'm standing up. Yeah, he's standing he's up. To hold this guy. He's stout. Yeah. <laughs> grab a hold of, especially the males, in my limited experience, they like to rear up. So, if I hold his neck down, he can't rear up. But Okay, I'm going to step back. <laughs> Just in case. Jerry's a good boy. He is good. Okay. He's not like that Rufus character. <laughs> Jerry's a good boy. We're going to be all right here, okay? You're going to go crazy on me. He's like leaning into me. I yeah, I see it. it. He's yeah. like leaning over on me. <laughs> Maybe he's wanting some loving. Apparently he hasn't been getting any loving from his ladies. No, I don't think so. Not much, anyway. He's still very nice. Oh, goodness, tough. And you're done, Jerry. Good boy, you're free. <laughs> he said, see ya. <laughs> so next, now that they're all heavily wormed and medicated, we are going to remove, are we taking Jerry out? Oh. Yeah. Why'd you let go of Jerry? Oh, we forgot what our plan was. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to be on top of this. Yeah, I think we decided to move Jerry over and then put Lucy over here instead of having to move both girls. Tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Oh, that's tomorrow? <laughs> well, I don't figure Jerry's going to be real cooperative and like being caught right now. No. So maybe later this evening when we feed or something. Yeah, we uh, we forgot our, our original plan. <laughs> Sidetracked. And then you'll let go of Jerry. So. Um, I just did what I was yeah. told. So our plan 
is to to put Jerry over with the donkeys and then put Lucy over here and just keep them separate so there's like no attempted breeding going on just in case um, and it will give obviously the girls uh, time to hopefully get over that it's just the worms and nothing else. Hopefully this takes care of it and we don't have to take them to Oklahoma State to the vet up there because that's a long trip. Hey, one more thing. Yeah. While we're at it and we have sidectin pour on for cattle, cattle. Yeah, might as well. Might as well use it for what it's intended for and give Ralph a little pour on treatment. So that watch. should be that's fun. how this works. You just squeeze in there. Look at that. Fill it up to the proper amount. It's got labels on the side for how much body weight. It's pretty handy. Yep. Nope. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Oh, good boy. Perfect. Good job. I'll go play in the mud. Yeah. This is a great mud hole the critters have uh, formed for us. Hey, it's the only cool spot they've got. When I dump out all the water troughs, it all goes to Pepper's little spot. Pepper loves it. Yeah. And so does Dolly. Uh, Dolly definitely loves it, too. Jerry's still uh, keeping his distance. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hey. What? You bought all those treats and you're not going to give your donkey a oh. single peppermint treat? Okay. Like, who are you anyways? You, you're the treat lady. I am, but I forgot. Just like you forgot with Jerry. He's trying to make me feel bad. Y'all see what he did there? Okay, so I was just kidding. I wasn't done with the video. I thought that was the end of the video. But I have treats. And we bought a tractor supply. And now I'm going to feed them to the girls. It's always super challenging for just me to give them treats. Because I do not have enough hands for all the donkey mouths. <laughs> hey, big girls. Y'all come for a treat? Hey. Out here. Hey, back up. Back up, back up. Hang on, girls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to stick my fingers out, but she's not like getting them out of my hand <laughs> like she's supposed to be. Oh, she's just one in the bag. Get back, sister. Get back. Here. Well, and the babes come to take over. Oh, you dropped it. Oh, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Val, here. Here. You haven't gotten one yet. Do you not want one? Hmm? Farrah does. Oh, girls. No, we can't keep this up. No more. I'm done. Well, that went about as well as I expected it to. <laughs> so, they did like the peppermint treats. I put some out in uh, their feed bowls just so they could, they could all have a chance to get some. So, with that being said, this is now the end of the video. And song of the video is... Uh, she had me at Heads Carolina. That's Houston's favorite song right now by Cole Swindell. And, uh, yeah. So, guys, no matter what the animals or husbands are doing, always do your best. <gasps> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs>